ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू टेक एन इनपुट विद इन द जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन साइड एक्लेप्स आई सो फॉर इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन फाइल एंड देन ऑन न्यू हेयर वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ न्यू जावा प्रोजेक्ट वी कैन राइट द नेम ऑफ द जावा प्रोजेक्ट एज इको सेवन 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 और एनी अदर नेम यू कैन राइट क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड देन फिनिश आफ्टर अवर प्रोजेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड वी कैन सी दिस एस आर सी फोल्डर सो राइट क्लिक ऑन एट एंड click on class and we will write here the name of the class is eco triple eight we also need to click public static void main function because one public class and one public static void main function is very necessary for the accomplishment of the code okay so click on finish now we have our main coding template okay with the one uh, public class and one void static main function so whatsoever we need to write uh, will be inside this main function so first after our project name that is package eco triple seven we need to import our main class that is import java dot util dot scanner dot scanner so here actually scanner is the part of this util package sub package and then util sub package is the part of java main package so actually for for in order to import our scanner class we we have to write this thing just like the importing of library so our scanner class is now the part of our program so now after this is done we need to create an object of this scanner class object of why we are why we are going to make an object of this scanner class because we want if we want to access any variable any other object or function that is the part of scanner class then we need to make an object of that particular scanner class so what is the procedure we know that first we need to write the name of the class that is scanner this is the name of the class and here we will write obj object okay scanner obj is equal to new new and scanner again the name of the class with two round brackets okay with two round brackets and here we will write system dot n as well system dot n okay so system dot n is the parameter okay and scanner is the class and obj obj is the object of that particular scanner class now our obj object has been created now we can use this obj object or we can say simply variable okay although variable is not a very good term we need to write object okay so we can say that this object with the help of this object we can we can we can go for any method which is inside scanner class and we can access it now we can write system dot out dot print ln enter enter the name okay enter the name so now system dot out dot print ln will write this string as it is on the output screen here you can see this eight integer yeah this one on the in the bottom i am highlighting it so this is our output window console or output window so so we can see all sort of output here so if we are going to run this program at this time we can see that it has we 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 have got this enter the name string that is totally print out as it is because it is with double quotes 
so now enter the name will be print out okay now we need to create another string variable so we will write string str string str so we can we'll go for obj obj dot next line now what is uh, meant by this next line now next line is a is a function okay what sort of function it can accept the input from the user okay just like when we will write here any name like imad my my name so when someone used to write here if 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 someone used to write name it will accept which thing next line and we have written obj dot next line because with the help of this object we can access this next line function so dot can be we can call this dot as the access uh, like uh, access operator okay in, in simple language and after this after the input has been like taken by this dot next line function it will be given to str str variable and our input will be stored inside this str variable which is of string data type now again system dot out dot print ln again we will do this and we will write str here so that we can see that either either what is inside str either our input has gone to str or not either it has taken the input it has accept the input or not okay now we will run it out and okay so that so so they enter enter the name so we will write imad hood and dean okay and when we will press enter it has written okay System dot out dot print ln str has given us this imaduddin okay, which is my name. So in this way we can accept a user input. We can also accept integer input okay. So with the help of this we can accept all sort of input inside Java in Eclipse IDE. So hopefully you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.